Hello everybody, Death checking in for uh, week two of the Loco 4-pack Evolution of a Settlement Build Challenge. Um, we're on to level 7 at this point, and uh, just so you guys know, down below in the description I'm going to include a link to the playlist for this week, and um, it's going to be in there every week. And that link is going to show you all the other build videos for people participating. So please visit other people, uh, maybe you'll meet somebody new like the content if you like the content sub if you haven't already and uh, we will see you all soon on to the role play already. Maybe I'll just start counting the weeks instead. Yeah, let's call it two weeks. I'll start keeping a tally. Damn sloppy of me. My CO would have had my ass for the lazy way I've been living. But when you're your own boss, I guess it doesn't matter. I've been working on a new place to sleep. My booth is alright, but it can't be forever kind of thing. I'm liking where this is headed, but I'm starting to think I'm gonna need to recruit some help. I tried to get Patrick at the diner to work, but he's still all strung out on the jet. I'll put a word in with the girls, let them know what I'm looking for a hand. With a lot of elbow grease, I think this place could be something amazing. My gears are spinning for sure. I've got big plans, but it's gonna take some time. At least the wheelbarrow I put together should help me gather resources. Made the damn thing out of an empty coffin I found at the Wildwood Cemetery. I stopped by to see if Mom was still there. Left some flowers on her grave. You know, just because the world blew up. We can't let go of what makes us human, right? The other day I met a farmer. The guy set his family up in a big old place under the electrical towers. He was giving me some advice on farming. Said I needed to protect what's mine. Well, I don't have much left. I totally get it. This world is going to take from you, unless you hold tight. I guess I should have picked that up even before Nora got herself killed. You know, the stupid thing is that I don't think that guy would have shot her if she'd have just let the boy go. Can't help but imagine what the world would have been like if things would have been different. Ah oh, well. This tape is running out of space. I need to go find another record on. <laughs> 